We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. I'm Anthony and I'm gonna take you through today's PF Go workout. We're gonna start our warm up with two rounds of med ball exercises. We got deadlifts, presses, and squats. So here we go. We're gonna start with that medicine ball between our legs. You're gonna lower down, tap the ground, and stand right back up. Our height here should be hips in the middle with shoulders and knees high and low. We want a nice hinge at the waist. There should be a little bit of knee bend, but not a lot. Now from here, you're gonna snap that med ball up to the chest, fingertips pointed straight up. We have med ball presses. Lock those arms out up and overhead, lower it back down. At the top, the med ball should be directly over the top of the head, the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder should all be stacked nice and straight. Now after our last press, we're gonna bring it down into the chest for 10 med ball front squats. This is a nice solid warm up. If you ever are out somewhere and you're like, oh, I gotta do something, but I need to warm up, deadlifts, presses, and squats, 10, 10, 10, it's a perfect warm up to get you going. We'll drop that med ball, we'll shake it out, we'll do one more set, and then we're gonna move on to some rig work. Now, if you're here at the gym, what we're gonna do is some passive active hangs for 10, some kip swings for 10, and some hanging knee raises for 10. Now, we know not everyone's gonna be at the gym and not everyone wants to do some hanging, so let's go over our substitutions. So what we're gonna do is grab that med ball, we're gonna do some passive active shrugs with that med ball. We're just gonna add a little bit of weight to it. So you're gonna lift up, hold, and lower back down. Can you face this way for me? That way. When you lift up, I want you to also squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back so that your shoulders are up and back and not just up. Perfect. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is a front raise with that medicine ball instead of a kip swing. So you're gonna lift that med ball up straight in front of you with straight arms and then back down. We're gonna lift up and pause, then lower back down and repeat. So this kip swing is a forward backward movement of the shoulder. We're just gonna do it in a different plane with the med ball. Now, easy enough, instead of hanging knee raises, we're gonna do med ball sit ups So you're gonna sit on the ground with your legs apart in a V, you're gonna reach up over your head, tap the floor, and then tap the ground in between your legs. You can use the med ball to throw it to help you sit up a little bit. We just want a nice, steady movement. So in review, you could either do passive active hangs, kip swings, and hanging knee raises, or you have shrugs, front raises, and med ball sit-ups. Now that you're all warmed up, we have a super cool workout for today. We're gonna to do our conditioning first. Now, this conditioning piece is made up of three exercises. You have double unders, wall balls, and toes to bar. There's a 45 second rest in between every round, no matter what you're doing. Now, the first time we go through it, we go double unders, wall balls, toes to bar. Then we do that four times. Then the second time we go toes to bar, wall balls, double unders. So we reverse the order. Each time you have 40 seconds rest between rounds. So we want you to move super fast and hit these as hard as you can. Now let's go over each movement. Grace is gonna grab a jump rope here. What is a double under? One jump, two turns of the rope. We just hear a little whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's how you know you're doing a double under. So let's see a couple. Single, double, double. Jump, turn, turn. All in one smooth motion. Good, relax, thank you. Our goal is to do 30 double unders, or we're gonna do 50 single unders. So we're not gonna double it up, we're just gonna shoot for 20 more because I want this to take the same amount of time. So 30 double unders or 50 singles. Now, what is a wall ball? We're gonna grab that medicine ball. We actually have a target right here. Let me adjust our camera. Grace, can you slide over to that pillar there for me? See that target right up there? That's our 10 foot target. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna hold that medicine ball up in front of your chest. You're gonna squat down and jump and toss that thing. Now there's two targets. We got a nine footer and a 10 footer. Gents, we're looking for above that 10 footer. Ladies, we're looking for the nine footer. If you're feeling like you're going too light, Grace, give me a couple to the 10 footer. Squat, and you actually have to jump off the floor to make that thing get up nice and high. Other than that, she's catching it nice and close, bringing it down to her chest and repeating. Perfect, thank you. So that's what a wall ball looks like. Now, if you don't wanna do a wall ball, you can just do a med ball thruster where you squat and stand up. That's totally fine with us. Now our last exercise is toes to bar, just like in the warm up piece. If you don't wanna to do toes to bar, you don't have a place to do some hanging leg raises, we're gonna do those med ball sit ups. We already know how to do those. Tap over the ground, tap in between your legs. These should be super fast. So you do the double unders, the wall balls, the toes to bar, 30, 15, eight. Rest 45 seconds. 
30, 15, eight, 45 seconds. 30, 15, eight, 45 seconds. After your fourth round, instead of a 45 second rest, you rest for two minutes. That gives you a chance to rest, calm down, relax. Now this time, we have four more sets, but you do eight toes to bar, 15 wall balls, 30 double unders. So we're just working backwards. Sound good? It's not that confusing. Once you get moving, it's super easy. Now, that would be awesome if that was all that we did, but we can't not have some strength for the workout for today. So we have an upper body pump to finish things out as a finisher. Now, we're gonna, Grace is gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. We have three exercises with a little bit of rest as needed. We have alternating dumbbell hammer curls. So we're gonna stand with those shoulder blades pulled together. You're gonna curl one hand up and down and the other hand up. Now, what I wanna see is that elbow stays pinned to the body. So can you give me a curl and hold it? This part of your arm should not be vertical. If it does come up off your body, you're going a little bit too far. So I want that elbow pointed straight down to the ground. You do your curl, down, and switch. So we're doing 20 reps. So that's one, two, three, four, just like that. Now we're gonna lay down on the ground for our dumbbell skull crushers. Now I'm gonna have Grace go to a single dumbbell, but you can do this with two if you'd like. So you're gonna hold one dumbbell straight up. Now just like in the hammer curl, that upper arm stays still. She's gonna lower that dumbbell right to her forehead and then lock it out. I don't wanna see any movement at the shoulder joint. You're just gonna bend to the tricep and punch it nice and straight. Exactly, thank you, great job. Now our last exercise, you're gonna stay on the ground for our lat pullover. The position is the same. You're gonna grab one dumbbell again. Now this time, instead of holding it horizontal, you're gonna hold the dumbbell vertical. You're gonna make a little diamond with your hands to hold it in place. That's good, you can lay back. Now from here, what you're gonna do is reach back over your head with that dumbbell, try and touch the floor, and then pull it back in. This time, none of the motion comes from the elbow. All of the motion comes from the shoulder. Reach back nice and far and then snap it in. Your body should have an arch to it. Your feet should be flat on the floor and we'll do 15 of those. Great, thank you. So in review, we have our conditioning, then our strength finisher of hammer curls, skull crushers, and lat pull downs. Rest as needed. This is a finisher after all. I just want you to get a nice pump before you get out of here. Let us know what you thought of the conditioning piece today. I'd love to know if you like going forward or backward better. Let us know in the comments below. Have a great workout and a great rest of your day.